Right, shall we move on? Some yeah. royals. It's been confirmed that Prince Harry, he's in town. He will not meet the King tonight whilst he's in London today. He uh, landed in the capital yesterday ahead of uh, an Invictus Games event uh, at St Paul's Cathedral. Yes, however, uh, a spokesperson for the Duke of Sussex has told GB News it is unfortunately not possible due to His Majesty the King's full schedule, adding that the Prince is understanding of his father's commitments and hopes to see him soon. Well, let's bring in the former butler to King Charles III, Grant Harold, who joins us this morning. Um, good to see you. Gosh, I mean, this feels like something's changed because there were, you know, hints and indications that there might be another meeting, much like there was just for half an hour last time mm. Harry was in town. Is your reading of this that there's something gone on behind the scenes and we don't know the full picture? Or do you think it can be a genuine schedule clash? Good morning to you both. I, I'm not 100% sure. I think what's interesting is the King's obviously just returned back to his duties as such, or, or lighter duties. And it is possible that his diary will be full because obviously he's only undertaking so many things at a time. But I think most of us might be thinking with his son being in the country, you'd want to make the opportunity to possibly see him. And it could be as simple as that the, the diary is not preventing. And also Prince Harry's diary might not be a line, it might just be clashing. But then, as you say, there's the question underneath the surface, is there still uh, this ongoing fallout? Because I also noted that Prince William is also not going to see his brother, and neither of them are, are going to be attending the, um, the the service at St Paul's. Again, that could be because of their personal commitments and their diaries, that's completely possible. But I think when it's just when it comes to family, normally families, when they're in a country, do try to see each other. So it does seem slightly strange, but it's not completely impossible that it is because of the workloads. Grant, you know the King quite well. You're his former butler, of course. How do you think he'll be dealing with the fact that he is pretty much estranged from his, uh, his son? Uh, emotionally, what's he going to be going through, do you think? I, I have absolutely no doubt that, as far as that's concerned, that he'll be devastated by the fact that that relationship is not how it used to be. When I was there... The three of them were very, 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 well, I should say the four of them, including the, the Dutch Como, as she was, were very, very close. And to see uh, and to follow what's happened over the last couple of years is, is, even for myself, it's upsetting because they were very close. And I've no doubt that the king, that is something that will be on his mind on a, probably a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And, and given how much we know the King adores his wife um, and the comments that Harry made about her in his book, Spare, do you think that that will be a factor in these strained relations? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you can't, you can't put something like that in a book and make those kind of comments and expect everything to kind of be fine. I mean, obviously, it, it's hurtful and it's interesting because, again, it, it's, for me, it's very confusing because I always thought that they all got on and never kind of saw it. doesn't mean to say that those thoughts and feelings went, went there. It's completely possible, but it's just I never personally ever witnessed any of that. And mm. I think that's what's very sad is it, it's come mm. to this because, see, they all got on really well. And it's, it's sad that now this is a, mm. a family that's, that's no longer united as it once was. What, what did you personally witness? Just give us a sense of that closeness that you saw whilst you were in the household up close and personal. Yeah, just, just that they all got on, you know, and when I say they got on, like, like any other family, you know, this is what I think sometimes people forget is, yes, they're all family, but behind closed doors, they are like any other family. They, they get together, they have meals together, they have laughs together, they have fun together. And I witnessed all that and yeah. I witnessed the fun times and the, the laughter. Do you, know, do you know what I mean? The laughter between, mm. for example, Queen Camilla and, and Wyman Hardy and the kind of the kind of jokes and the fun side. and. Yeah. So that's what I mean. I didn't see anything different. And I say, it doesn't mean to say that Harry obviously had personal feelings and maybe, are quite right, he didn't share those at the time. But it's it's just very sad that it, that it has come to this because, as I said, from my point of view, I thought they were all very close. Mm. What, what about Prince William, Grant? He's away on duties, but his wife, uh, the Princess of Wales, Catherine, she's recovering from cancer. Mm. He's not seeing either mm. of those two either, is he? No, and that's slightly confusing because I can understand with Prince William being away, maybe kind of other duty, it's possible that that's not going to work. But Harry was very, 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 very close to Catherine. Uh, absolutely. I mean, they were completely the best of friends. And with what's going on with Catherine just now, 
you would have, I would have assumed he would want to see her. It is possible that because of the treatment and that kind of thing, maybe being cautious, not having too many visitors, that kind of thing, that is completely possible. But again, I just, it just doesn't add up. That's the thing. None of it really adds up. And as we know, the palace is always not really commenting about um, what Harry's doing. Uh, obviously, there's been comments from the spokespeople, but the, the, there's no kind of clear indication as to how this relationship is progressing at all. And it is sad to see that it's that it has broken down and it's become, uh, it's got to the point where it is just now. And and I keep hoping, as I've said before, that this relationship will one day be fixed. But as time goes on, I'm beginning to wonder if it's a relationship that's beyond repair. Mm, I think we all share those hopes and concerns. Grant, Harold, always lovely to have you on the programme. Thanks very much.